Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about how to use the fiber optic cable to connect the IP camera. In most cases, we will use the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable to connect the IP camera to the switch or network video recorder. If you look around, you will see this is the RJ45 network port of the network video recorder. This is the RJ45 network port from the switch. And here, from the camera, we also have the RJ45 network port. We can use this K5 or K6 Ethernet cable to connect this device together directly. That's the reason why the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable is so popular in the IP camera system setup. Okay, now maybe just let me make a quick connection from, from the camera to the switch. This is the A port PoE Plus switch. It's the switch with the manager feature. Okay, now I just need to use the cable to pick one of the PoE port and connect the cable to another end to the network to the IP camera. All right, you can see once I connect the camera to one of the PoE port, the power indicator is on and data indicator is also on. That means the switch is providing the data exchange with the IP camera. Now I just need to have another short punch code to link and the PoE switch to the network video recorder. All right, I think the camera's live now. This is motorized zoom camera. It will take a while to find the best focus. You see, in this setup, there's no need for power source for the camera. The PoE is sending both power and data through this single Ethernet cable. All right, I think you may ask one question. The K5 or K6 Ethernet cable is so convenient. Why we still need the fiber optic cable, right? It's fair enough. The K5E K6 Ethernet cable is limited to about 328 feet while it's running with the TCP IP tech protocol. If the distance between the camera and the switch is beyond 328 feet, we need to use the PoE standard to repeat the PoE network. Even though now we have the solution to repeat the PoE up to 1,500 feet by using two PoE standard or the long range PoE switch, but the bandwidth it also limit me to 100 megabyte per second. The 100 megabyte per second is enough to carry up to AIB camera. But sometimes we may just need to have the better bandwidth, like the 1000 megabyte per second, and also the long dis distance. In this case, the fiber optic cable is the choice because we cannot have such long distance, also such high bandwidth by using the K5E or K6 Ethernet cable. That's one of the reasons if you need a long distance, fast speed, then the fiber optic cable will be the choice. The second thing is sometimes we may need to have longer, longer distance than 1,500 feet. Let's talk about like the 5,000 feet. Now we don't have another choice. The fiber optic cable will be the only option to achieve such long distance. Okay, now let me just make a replacement and first, I will remove the K5 or K6 Ethernet cable. We are not going to use this cable to connect the camera. All right. In order to work with the fiber optic cable, we need to have the conversion. Like what I mentioned, all these devices are using the RJ45 network port, so we can use the Ethernet cable directly. But you see, this is the fiber optic cable. There's no way we can connect this cable to the RJ45 port directory. So it's not going to work. We should need to have the conver converter or the conversion built in. This is the A port PoE switch. These two is we call SFP slot. This is the, I think we just need one, sorry. This is the slot which will work with the fiber optic cable. But you may wonder it's too large. The reason is because we also need to install this SFP module. That's very important. The SFP module will convert the fiber optic signal to the electronic signal. Also, the SFP module determines what kind of fiber optic cable you can use, the connector, and also how many fiber opti op optical strands you need. You may be curious why there's only single port, right? Because this is the BIDI fiber optical SFP transceiver. 
it just needs one fiber optical stride to transmit and receive the data. It using the it using the different wavelength. Okay. Now let me just connect one of the fiber stride to the switch. Let's move to the second end. We also facing the problem. We cannot connect the fiber optic cable to the camera directory. So in this case, we need to have this media converter. This is the waterproof media converter. It will convert the fiber optical signal to the electronic signal. Also supply the PoE power over Ethernet. Okay. Now let me just got the fiber optical slot. This is slot. I need to in also install the SAP transceiver. And I will pick the fiber optical, one of the fiber optical strand and connect to the SAP transceiver. Okay. From here, I need another short punch code to lean the media converter to the camera. The last thing is about a power source. All right, but uh, you see, the one thing the fiber optic cable cannot do is sending the power. The fiber optic cable technically is just the plastic. We cannot send the power through the fiber optic cable. No, but even the fiber optic cable can achieve huge long distance, like the 5,000 feet. There's no problem for the cable. But remember, we cannot send the power. So when the distance is so long, we always, always need the power source at the edge. It's also not reasonable to send the power for such long distance because the power loss will be very serious. Okay, this is the power adapter, outdoor type power adapter. Now I'm going to connect the power to this media converter and also plug the power to the AC outlet. Once I plug the power, you can see power indicators on, the link indicates the on, that means now we're getting the power also, the data is on. It will take a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. I think the camera's live again, right? You see, this is the setup. It's also easy. There's no need to configure or making anything. I'm using the switch with the media converter built-in. But remember, we also still need the SAP transceiver because this SAP slot it doesn't have the very important, com important component, SAP transceiver, which will convert the fiber optic signal to electronic signal. Here, I using, I'm using the pre-made fiber optic cable. So I don't need to make the connector. Everything is being built in the factory, simply just plug and play. The last one is the media converter outdoor type. It's also support PoE, so it's not only convert the fiber optic signal to electric signal, it also supply the power, PoE power for the camera. From the camera to this media converter, we still can have 328 feet. So if the power source is not very close to your camera, we can place this outdoor media converter a little bit far from the camera. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.